Scroll swipe click, oh snap you on my video Sit back, relax and enjoy the show I'ma show you how to do it, yeah It's called my way, what up, what's good, what's poppin' It's here right hey. Okay. Yeah, tell you is my favorite too. So. Well, everybody loves that one. <laughs> okay. How much they want for it? Thirty-two. This must be a souped up one then. MSRP twenty-six. All-wheel drive. How many cylinders on this? It's tiny when I see it in person, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I think is crazy? That they actually had three cars out here. Yeah. Exactly. What's happening? So we out here looking at the Kia Seltos. Is it Seltos? Yeah, and I want to see the Telluride because the Telluride is real popping. So they just got this one in, I think. I like that. But I do want to see that Telluride because the Telluride be popping. I think the Tellerides, don't they start at like 31? Like They're a little more expensive. I like this one. It's nice. It's cute. I like this one. I like this. It's a weird color, but. Oh. It's got a third row too. Oh, it do? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. It's got third row. It's got the double moon row. This is the prestige all wheel drive. This is the fully uh, Yeah, fully loaded one. Fully yeah. loaded. Yeah. yeah, this is the one everyone was looking for. The, um, I don't think that's Celtos. That's the third row. No, it's, no, it's, 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 this is bigger in the inside than I thought it was. Oh, yeah. A lot of people compare these to the, uh, Tahoe and Yukon. Mm hmm. Mm. Crunch. All right, so now we're in Burlington. Picked up a few things. I actually found a swimsuit. Um, I really didn't need a swimsuit. I actually have one, but it's very like mom-like. So I was trying to find something a little different, but it's still a one piece. So I'll show y'all when I get to the house. But Adrian's looking for some shorts and we're about to get this rug. And I'm trying to stay away from the home decor because I'm trying to wait till we paint first. And then after we paint, then I'm gonna think about home decor, so. But it's kind of like addicting when you be in the store, but yeah, so. See, stuff like this, it catches my eye. Because I'm like, okay, so where would I put this? I know I would have somewhere to put it, but I just feel like I need to get my walls painted first before I start doing decor. Like, I feel like it's a process. Is stages and I don't want to get a whole bunch of decor until I see what's on the walls and I'm very basic like this why do I want this all this stuff right here super basic I think I want to get some pictures like this for my um craft table area in my planner area And I feel like I need a new beach bag, but oh my God, I can go to planner supplies and markers and pens and stuff. Squirrel. Found some more. 
Are you trying? Yeah. You're not gonna try. Yeah, I can. Go back in the cut. All right. So over here we have some faux plants, but like I really want to be a plant owner, like a plant owner for real. But I don't be having it in me, y'all, to take care of these plants. Like they need water every day. It's like a burden on my life. Okay, so we're back home. I'm gonna show you what we got. Quick little haul for you. He picked up these shorts right here. They're I don't know what kind of material you would say. They're like action slack material, but they just have, um, what is that called? An anchor on them. That's what that little design is. So we got those. Then the next pair he picked up was another pair of action slacks. And these are light gray. I'm saying action slack, but I mean like the material because they're short. These have, um, they say they're stretchy in the waist. I say they're barely stretchy in the waist, but that's another pair we got. Then he got a pair of khaki shorts. And then the last pair he got was a pair of, mm, these are kind of like khaki. I like the inside of them. The inside of them, they have boats, but it's just a pair, they're like navy blue. So that's what he got. Now, what I got from Burlington was, um, first of all, I got Khaleesi, this, and this is a clothes hamper. Right now, she's, she's using something that she got from the Dollar Tree, so I decided to upgrade her whole laundry situation. And then I got this for myself in my room. This is going to go on my side of the bed. On the wall, there's some space for it, but it is a shelf. And I have a few um, books that I keep on my nightstand. Basically, anything that I'm currently reading, I keep over there. And it would be nice um, to just put some knickknacks and stuff like that. Of course, it's going to be after um, we paint the bedroom. But I just thought this was really cute, really plain, neutral, industrial life. So that's what I got. All right. Then I picked up a bathing suit. So I just got a plain bathing suit and it dips in the front like that. And it's like silver kind of metallic. I thought that'd be real cute. Hopefully I can fit it cause your girl is top heavy. So I got that and I was looking for a two piece but they didn't have no two piece. So I'm gonna have to go on Fashion Nova. I got these pants to go with it. They're like see-through kind of mesh like. And they're white and they're just flowy and i had a pair of pants like this before but i don't know if i still have them so if when i'm looking where i keep my swim stuff and i find them i'm gonna just take those back and then i got some black flip-flops juicy couture to go with that whole thing and it's bling bling right here it gives that same silver metallic vibe so that's what i got and then we got a rug because the rug that we had is a body so i'm gonna show you the rug that we had and i'm gonna show you the new rug that we got the rug that we had and khaleesi and played all over this with slime and kinetic sand and just a whole bunch of stuff and the last time she wasted a whole bunch of stuff on there i was just like it's done it was a cheap rug anyway so we got rid of that rug and now we got this rug right here. We upgraded. This one was like 120. Look how my cat did the couch right there. We gotta do something about that. But yeah, and this is bigger than the, the one that we had. This is actually a six by nine. I think that was a five by seven. And it's just gonna go down here somewhere. Yeah, so it'll come from the couch somewhere and it just kinda go out over there. Look at Lisey's recliner, isn't that cute? I actually want to get rid of this recliner because it doesn't go with anything. This is Adrian's recli recliner, and I'd rather get something more neutral color like the couches and stuff. Even Khaleesi's couch matches this stuff. So, but yeah, excited to put the rug down. And it's going to eat, it's going to pop even more once we paint the walls that light, light gray color. And this is just better quality. She won't be able to do no slime, no sand, no nothing over here with this. So now I'm about to try on this bathing suit. Hopefully it fits. So I'm going to take it back. Why is Pet Boys closed? Like they didn't took down the signs and everything. The reason why I'm out here car shopping y'all is because it just might be time. This is a good car. Despite what Pet Boys 
lied about and despite like the minor issues that it's had this is a great car hondas are the bomb.com they really do last forever as long as somebody doesn't purposely damage your car which is what pet boys did at this point with pet boys i'm just trying to get back the money that i paid and the two toes that i had to get which were 85 dollars a piece i want an suv that's why i was there looking at suvs and right now it's between the Telerine, the Soltis, and I'm gonna go look at the Sportage tomorrow. So it's really between those three cars. Don't know which one I'm gonna get. If I'm gonna get, we just gotta get down there tomorrow because the only one, I haven't test driven any of them, but I've only sat in the Soltis and the Telerine. I wasn't really in the mind frame to be um, test um, driving. And I didn't realize that they had the Sportage until we were already leaving. So told the salesman that we wanted to come back. But y'all, why is there a shortage on freaking Kias? Like when we looked on the website, the website said they had three cars in a lot. We was like, we know that ain't right. Come to find out, y'all, that was the truth. Last week, they only had three cars because there's a chip shortage. And they're literally like, there's no cars. So as soon as them Telerides come on the, the lot, they leave. And I know that's true because the Telerite is so freaking popular. Y'all, it's the bomb.com. It's so much room in that Telerite. It's like, why get like one of those big old Yukons above when you can get a Telerite? It's so spacious in there. I really, really like the Kia Soltis. It was compact, but it was cute. I didn't like the color though. The color was great. Not that I didn't like it, but it was like a lighter gray. I'm typically like a black or a smoky gray type person. So the sweaters that they had, the Telluride that they had, hold on, let me go back. That was like some different kind of champagne color. It was pretty though. And then the sweaters that they had, that was black. So, but the Sportage, I like uh, like usually like a, like a more boxy car, but the Sportage is like rounded. It's, it's nice though. All of them are nice. So I think I'm a test ride all of them tomorrow and then just see what they talking about but if you're talking about bang for your buck and you're talking about a warranty let me tell you kia they got that um that six year sixty thousand bumper to bumper and then they got a 10 year everything else Oof. listen when i got my honda the only thing i got was that six year and let me tell you as soon as that six year was over they was not trying to talk to your girl you feel me so I was like, dang, that's what's up. So um, yeah, that's gonna be the most bang for your buck. And Kia has made a comeback. I remember Kia's not being the bomb at all. Nobody wanted a Kia back in the day, but they have up their gizang. Do you hear me? And from what I understand, they're really, really good cars now. Even Hyan, Hyan, how do you say it? Hyundai or whatever the case, they have up their game too. Um, and I was looking at like the Explorer and stuff like that. Those are a little bit more pricey. But at the end of the day, I just want an SUV and I want a good car that's going to last me another 10 to 20, okay? Because your girl don't be wanting to get no new car. I, I'm just glad that when I get a new car, whatever car I get, that I know I'm not going to have the same issue with that paint situation and that defective paint. It's just, it's just a lot. It's a lot. All right, y'all. So I'm out here with the Honda. Had to clean it out real quick. And um, wasn't much to do because I don't keep a cluttered car. But was some things that needed to be taken care of. Receipts, random receipts. What the heck? Apparently there was a thing of applesauce. Khaleesi had that slid underneath the seat. I'm not about to vacuum it and do all that extra. Ain't nobody got time for that cuz. But I'll go ahead and show you what it's looking like. This is the driver's side, of course. So you got the stock floor mats or whatever that came with the car. Again, I told you I'm not about to vacuum this out. Right here, you got the push and the pull on for the trunk and for the gas cap. The clicker, it actually, I wanna say you could pop the trunk with the other key entry I had, but that been broke so and these these uh things are expensive to replace so right here on the side panel you know you got the automatic windows you got the door lock lock the windows right here this moves your side mirror and then you switch it from left to right and then you have the door handle right here automatic locks you feel me because i was balling that day and then here you got the dashboard situation 
go ahead and turn the car on. And um, it's digital, okay? And then I don't know why that check cap was, was flashing because literally it was closed. And then, I mean, it was closed. And then it tells you like the doors are open and stuff like that. No seatbelt on park. As you can see, I only got 85K on this 2009 Honda Civic, you feel me? And then it has, these are your gear shifts and then your speedometer. And I don't know if you can see that, but your cold hot situation is over there. And then your gas tank is over there, okay? So then you move on to the dashboard and you have your AM, FM radio. Let's go ahead, crank that up real quick. For all of your mobile DJ needs. See what's on the radio. Which is Ain't nothing really popping. So, wait, 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 wait. I think that was R. Kelly. R. Kelly's canceled. So, kill that. Then you have your aux, you know, your input right there. Did not get the Bluetooth. You feel me? Um, I didn't have time that day, cuz. And then down here, you got, um, well, what happened was I didn't have. A Bluetooth right so I went and got this little adapter it has since fallen apart but like that goes right there you can get these these real cheap if you if your car is older and it doesn't have like the Bluetooth input you just get this it's an auxiliary um, input and then it makes your car Bluetooth all right then you got the the outlet for the power or whatever and then you have your gear shift right here got that drive drive uh, sub 3 drive two, drive one. You don't want to see me when I'm going up the hill. You feel me? Fast and the furious. All right, then you got your standard little compartments right here. And then you got one right here. Keep your little change and your crumbs. And then you got your cup holder. I don't know what that is, whatever. And then you have your center console right here. Got some money. I'm gonna leave that. That's gonna be a tip. You feel me? And then you close that like that. Then you got your passenger side. You feel me? You got these um side airbags right there, right here. In the steering wheel on the steering wheel you got your cruise control your um i don't know what what that is accelerate just um decelerate and then you got your cancel on the cruise control over here i don't know what this is the plus and the minus i don't even know what that is in the middle i don't even think i ever hit that before I don't know what that that's I know what it say but I don't know what it do I just know this clear the dashboard when you got indicators then you got your AC vent right there open close it don't matter because the the AC don't work in this car so it's open or closed you still gonna be sweating right here you got your glove compartment oh I ain't even clean the glove compartment out what's in here you need to get all this stuff out the glove compartment all right let's see what we got we got the pressure gauge joint some stuff the only thing i'm gonna probably leave up in here is the little honda user manual so i'm gonna throw that back in there that came with the car you feel me so i'm gonna take all the rest of this stuff out i don't even know what this is okay then you got that let's move on to the back all right here's the back you know nothing nothing crazy standard you feel me and um yeah i got like a little sun visor thing i had when khaleesi was a baby right there let me get that out of there still in working condition i i guess adjustable you know headrest blase blase then come on to the wheels i think you got them 14 inch you feel me and then the trunk space is spacious definitely fit a dead body in there you feel me um and then you got that pristine paint job <sighs> And yeah, this is the Honda, y'all. This is the baby. And then I will pop the hood and let you see what that engine be like, but I already told you it's Fast and the Furious out here, so no need. And that's about it. Y'all, I told you once and I'ma tell you again, Alabama heat ain't no joke. I'm about to wash my face cause it's mad sweat on my face and I might do my eyebrows, get ready for Adrian to come back. Cause he should be leaving the gym. I also got to do my nails. I got a lot to do today, but I'm gonna go ahead and get moving. So I hope you enjoyed that car tour. I don't know exact, I know we going to the Kia dealership today, but 
also i was looking at that ford explorer and i'm like eh, you feel me so i don't know i don't know where we going all right y'all so i'm out here at the kia dealership the sporters that we were looking at yesterday it sold this morning it's crazy out here but i just took this one for a test drive this is the sportage but it's a 2018 it'll be certified pre-owned you get all the rest of the warranty on it and everything so this is the inside of this one it hasn't even been cleaned it hasn't even been priced out or anything but it rides really really nice it got all the bells and whistles on it it's only 34,000 miles on it 2018 and here's the back i'm digging this one all right y'all so it is saturday night and i'm packing because we're leaving tomorrow on father's day at like seven o'clock in the morning um because we want to get to the beach in jacksonville at a reasonable time hopefully everybody's still at church we can just slide in there on the beach before they get out there but um i wanted to show you what i packed i try to pack as light as possible on vacation because i really don't like having a lot of options it gives me anxiety and all that stuff so let's just get into it okay so the first thing i packed were the new um flip-flops that i got and i'm gonna use these for the beach and like walking around as my slippers um and then i got my cover-up pants that i just got in a new bathing suit that i just got that i showed before and then um so we're pretty much gonna be on the beach for a few hours and then after that we'll probably go back to his um friend's house so i just packed some this shirt right here my brother makes these clothes. My brother from another mother makes these clothes. Um, I think it's called Royalty. What's this called? Yeah, Royalty. Go check them out. And then I just got some black, what are these called? Biker shorts to go with it. Then I'll just be bringing one pair of sneakers, which are my shell toe Adidas. And I just got some black socks. Then on Monday, we actually have an appointment to do something really, really fun. So I'm just rocking my MTV shirt that I got from Tarjay, some jeans that I got from, I'm about to say Fashion Nova, tell a whole lie, uh, City Trends. <laughs> and then I have these socks that I just got and I'm gonna just wear those with the shell toes, all white shell toes. And that'll be for that day. And then this is, this is not yet. So then that's pretty much all that I know that we're doing on Monday yeah because this was for sunday and this is for monday so this is just you know if we go get something to eat whatever we're not um going to the main event rest restaurant until tuesday so that's all i got to wear on that day then on wednesday i mean that's monday then on tuesday during the day i was just gonna wear this skirt and i think i got this from city trans too and then i paired that with a white uh a white shirt and I had my little um, shorts to go underneath it. And then I got some yellow socks because I'm going to dress it down and wear it with my shell toes and scrunch the socks. So that's what I'm wearing Tuesday during the day. And then for the when we go out to eat, this is like a long... I don't know if this is a shirt. The slit is so high. It come all the way up your thigh. See what I'm saying? But I would do it, but just not on this trip. So I got these new shorts to go underneath it. And I know it looks crazy, but actually when you put it on, the shorts are kind of hidden unless you turn to the side. But then it kind of like blends in with my skin a little bit. It's real weird, but it looked um, pretty cool underneath there. And then I just paired that. I'm gonna be wearing these um, Chunky Hill sandals to go with this and some bag. I don't know what bag yet. And then this is gonna be for Wednesday on the travel home. They really got these Fila socks because three came in the pack. So it was this pair and another pair just like this on the outside Then they put that in the middle. So they tried it, but it's all good. So I got that. Then I just packed one pair of pajamas and then I packed some camis because I wear camis under all my shirts. Now, just in case you were wondering, this is how I pack my stuff. I made this list years ago and anything that comes up, for instance, my tea tree oil that I now use, I just put that on there. And then I'm going to redo this list. Um, I said candle slash lighter. Yeah, because I like to bring a I need I need a um, I need a candle. That's what I don't have on here. I'm going to just go grab one. But yeah, this is how I do my packing list and um, so I don't forget anything. So I got some cotton swabs. This is typically to remove makeup, deodorant, face wash, face lotion, sunscreen. 
Got some lotion for my body, toothbrush. This toothbrush is the Bombas by Equip. And then I just got some toothpaste. My sunglasses are in here, which they probably need to be in whatever purse I'm carrying. Some shampoo and conditioner by Nia the Lock God. Now this is crazy, but this is the one nail that I'm not wearing. This is the, the nail design that I started right here. And I said, I just deviated from that. But this is the nail that I am gonna be wearing and I'm gonna be applying it with sticky tabs because you know that nail is damaged. So yeah, it goes right along with this thing. So then I got a scarf and some edge control. I got a headband and then I got my edge brush. It's all hard and gunked up, but you know that's when it worked good. And then I got the case for my Beats, but I need to put my Beats in here and also get my computer and my charger. And then, of course, I'm going to get my phone charger and everything in the morning. Um, and then this is like makeup, but it's really not a lot of makeup. It's like it's no foundation and nothing in here, but it is enough for me to do a full face. So I got that. And then over here, I got this. It says my pills. And the only thing in here is like vitamins. Yeah, it's just vitamins because I'm not taking I thought I was... I was thinking about the medication I was taking for my finger, but um, they said I can't take it for a month. So um, I'm not taking that right now, but yeah. So that's everything that I'm gonna pack. All right, so this is the suitcase that I'm gonna take. It's actually a four piece set. This is the middle size and it has a matching toiletry bag that I'm gonna be using. I wanted to take my hard suitcase, but it's just too tiny. So I'm gonna take this one. Right, so here's the toiletry bag, it's a little used but it has the front pocket right here and then it has the main compartment right here so i'm gonna just put everything in <music> unboxing because i think i am going to rock this when i go on vacation because it's small and it's a crossbody so i wanted to go ahead and open it i originally bought some things to compartmentalize inside of it from the dollar tree but they're too big <laughs> so i don't know what i'm gonna do i know i have some small little bags over there but i do be needing like compartments and i don't remember what um type of compartments this had inside so um, it came in just a regular shipping box and it has plastic on top of it. And then it has the thin sheet of styrofoam. So let's go ahead and open this up. But I'm excited about this bag. It is from the Pride Collection from, it wasn't from Coach, it was from Coach Outlet. Because I did get some Pride Collection sneakers that were from Coach. But I haven't worn those yet. And I'm not taking those on vacation. So here is what the bag looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love everything like colorful and rainbow. Rainbow, excuse me. So this is what she looks like. Um, I paid like one something in the low one something. So maybe like 112 plus tax. But the, I don't know what this means. Oh, it was the comparable value was 328. So originally I did go to coach.com first and saw the collection that came out. And yeah, those bags were out of my price range. They were in the four to six, seven, I don't know. 
something i don't know out of my price range so i i didn't even know that coach outlet comes out with its own collection so like a day or two later i saw coach outlet had came out with their pride collection so i went and there was some very similar pieces between the two websites as far as patterns and stuff but it is very distinguishable okay if you get something from coach you're gonna know it's from coach and if you get something from coach outlet you're gonna know it's from coach outlet especially since they did a release at the same time you know what i mean so <laughs> i was like oh i see what y'all did right there but anyway this is the inside this is suede and i know that sometimes coach outlet gets coach pieces um but coach outlet also makes stuff exclusively for coach outlet so that's that's more affordable you know what i'm saying so that's all i'm trying to say so it comes stuff it came stuff with this to help hold its shape i guess and then it has some paper in it that i'm about to take this strap is long that i'm gonna take out but yeah so that's what i've learned also from talking to people in the comment section on my other coach unboxing this is mad paper in here video coach outlet unboxing <laughs> coach bag whatever um unboxing that some stuff is made exclusively for coach outlet and i'm seeing that now with this current purchase so i'm gonna use my scissors that i'm not supposed to use to cut this off because you're only supposed to use these to cut hair but i ain't cutting no hair around here so it'll be okay i'm just taking all like the the protective stuff off of the strap now all right so oh still got some more paper in here let's make sure everything is out okay and then i'm gonna cut the tag off because i'm not returning this so i just thought it was a very cute shape for a crossbody i've never had a crossbody shape like this so it was very very exciting okay so now i'm just gonna attach the strap because you don't have to wear this as a crossbody you could just wear it as you know is this called a clutch yeah because you're clutching it right i don't know but you can wear it as whatever this is called and then it just has the coach keychain tag right there which is cute all right so here is what it looks like with the strap on okay strap is gorgeous so just imagine you rocking your outfit and you got like the strap across here with the belt buckle in the front i like i, I like this hardware so this is how i would wear it i guess you could wear it a different way of course i gotta tighten it up but yeah straight across the top but if you don't like that vibe what i was saying is um you can go cross body the other way and then you'll just have the strap but very very pretty vibrant colors in the bag so i'm excited about this the question is what am i gonna put in this and am i gonna take this and make this the only bag that i take because i don't like to pack a lot of stuff and i wonder will this go with everything it'll go with everything i mean even if it didn't go as long as you own your outfit you wear the outfit don't let the outfit wear you it's all good so i'm this is the bag i'm gonna take period poo let me know what you think and until next time people peace next time on the leah ray show